Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're going to talk about estimating angles and also about turning in an angle. Okay, when we're estimating angles we need to keep in mind some landmark angles and of course our right angle is our best landmark angle first of all. And then half of that is 45 degrees. It's kind of like taking a you know, corner of a book or something. Oh, here is a square I drew and then going from the corner to corner in a square and then that makes exactly 45 degree angle. And here's 30 degree angle which we get if we have 90 degrees and we divide it in three parts, three equal parts. You can also think of a clock like I have in my books. You have a clock here and clock face so that 12 is here, 1, 2, 3, a clock is here. And so each whole hour from 12 to 1 makes a 30 degree angle, from 1 to 2 makes another 30 degree angle and so on. Okay, now this one is made by adding 90 and 45 degree angles together. So we get an obtuse angle of 135. You can just use that as one more reference angle when estimating angles. So let's say that I need to estimate how many degrees is this angle. Okay, first of all it is an obtuse angle from here past the right angle over here. So clearly it is more than 90 degrees. Okay, maybe I want to kind of rough sketch that okay, it would be 90 degrees and then how much past that. Okay, this kind of looks to me like maybe it is like the one hour increment on the clock, the 30 degrees. Okay, so maybe I'll just guess 120. Let's check my guess because I don't really know. This is truly is I am estimating. Here's my protractor. Okay, here's 120. Okay, it's past that. It's 124 in reality. But pretty close, right? Another one. Okay, now I could again think of the clock and this to me looks like it is a little bit more than 30 degrees. And so my guess will be 40 degrees. And to check, I need to put my protractor just like so and it is, okay, 35 or 36, about 36. Huh? Not bad, huh? <laughs> okay. Another one. Now again, this could be compared to 90 degrees, you know. Here would be 90 degrees, so this much is, is what it is lacking from 90 degrees. It has opened this much, Ooh, all the way there. So I'd say it is more than 60 degrees. And so maybe 70, I'll, I'll write down 70 degrees, let's check. I didn't draw these to be exact so many degrees, I just randomly drew them, so. Okay, it is 64. There. Another kind of exercise we can give to students is to estimate and draw an angle, okay? Draw an angle of 70 degrees without using a protractor. Now I'm just going to use this side to, to draw actually lines, so let's see how, how well I will do. Draw one line and then here would be my 90 degrees, but it has to be less than that. Okay, maybe here would be 60 or some more. Maybe there. So that's my guess for 70 degree angle. And now let me check. Oh, uh, yeah, pretty close. I got it to about this is about 67 or 68. Okay, now here with the five degree angle. Let's see if I can estimate that. And I would use, first of all, my landmark angle of 30 degrees and then go down from there. Let's say here is about 90. And then if I can draw, I don't know, roughly like that, so for 30 and 30 degree angles. So if this is about my 30, then this would be about my 15. And then that into three parts. So let me guess. No, that's probably less than 15, less than 5. Okay, well, let me check anyway. Yeah, I just got it about 3 degrees. I went off a little bit. Anyway, let's lastly look at turning in an angle. This is not a thing that you can also do an activity outdoors on the yard about walking and then turning in an angle. You have to imagine somebody now walking here 
as if this was a map. And maybe here's their house and here's a library or whatever. And so they walk and here the road turns. So they turn that way. How many degrees are they turning when they're walking? And this is defined, the turning angle is defined as the angle between the direction you're going when you turn and the direction you would have gone without turning. So the angle is between this side and this side here. This is the turning angle. So let me measure it first. I need to put my protractor to line it up with a zero line. Okay, this is pretty close to 30 degrees. Yep, 30 degrees here. And um, you probably have heard people turning in 90 degree angle, right? If I go here and I turn 90 degrees, I go exactly this way. Yeah, that would be a 90 degree angle. But we actually measure it between here and here. Okay. Or if you turn in 45 degree angle, you would go somewhere here. And this here would be your 45 degree angle. Here is an exercise about it. We want to estimate, we want to estimate how many degrees is the turning angle. You would have gone, you would have walked straight on this way. And so the angle we need to estimate is this angle here, not this one. And this is really near to 90 degrees, isn't it? 90 degrees would be about here, so maybe this is about 80 degrees, maybe, my guess, okay. And now I can check. Uh, about 72, okay. 